The election for the Standing Committee of the Municipal Corporation of Delhi was postponed as the House meeting was adjourned following protests by Aam Aadmi Party councillors against the decision to ban mobile phones in the House. Yesterday, following the directions of uh, Delhi Lieutenant Governor V.K. Saxena, MCD Commissioner wrote to the Mayor and Deputy Mayor urging them to take immediate action to conduct the election. Putting the privacy of Indians first, the centre has blocked several websites that were found to have exposed citizens' private information including Aadhaar and PAN card details. Big blow to the Gujarat government. The top court refuses to review its extreme comments against the government in its order related to the release of the Bilkis Banu case convicts. Earlier, the Supreme Court wrapped the Gujarat government saying that it acted in tandem with the convicts. Your travel to the city of Agra is set to become expensive as the Yamuna Authority hikes toll rates on the Yamuna Expressway, the first hike since 2021-2022. The authority claims that the toll increase is based on proposals submitted and that will not significantly burden the commuters. Storm over Vice Chancellor entering hostel of female students unannounced at Rajiv Gandhi University in Patiala gets bigger. Punjab Commission for Women Chief writes to President Murmu and seeks his resignation as protest by students enters day six today. Amit the Tirupati Laddu Rao, BJP leader Madhvi Lata visited Tirumala temple and offered her prayers. She slammed former Chief Minister Jagan Mohan Reddy over the Prasadam Rao and said why the latter did not build a Gaushala that will provide pure key to the Tirumala temple. YSRCP Chief and former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister YS Jagan Mohan Reddy will visit the Lord Wen. Kateshwara Swami Temple at Tirumala Hills tomorrow as part of a statewide temple rituals initiated by the party. The rituals are aimed at atoning for the sin allegedly committed by Chief Minister N. Chandra Babu Naidu, who accused the YSRCP of using substandard ing ingredients, including animal fat, in the making of Tirupati Laddus. Jamnagar Food and Drugs Department conducted a quality check of the Prasad at Dwarka Temple in Devbhumi Dwarka, ensuring food safety standards are met for the offerings. Tensions are rising for the minority Hindu community in Bangladesh as their biggest festival, Durga Puja, approaches. Radical Islamic groups are opposing the open celebration of the festival and are against nationwide holidays during the festival. Recently, extremist groups also carried out a march in Dhaka opposing the use of a playground by the Hindu community who have been celebrating Durga Puja at the venue for years. Russian President Putin hosts Equatorial Guinea's President Teodoro Obiang in Moscow. Putin says uh, Russia has been successfully cooperating with oil-rich Equatorial Guinea in the Gas Exporting Countries Forum. He also says that uh, their common task is to stabilize world energy markets. Russian president accuses the Western countries of deliberately restricting access to energy technologies and services, but in claims that the restrictions are motivated by the fear of the completion with the developing countries, the West does not want competition because it cannot cope with it. An Israeli strike hit an apartment building in Lebanon's capital Beirut. Israel says it was targeting a Hezbollah member. Lebanon's interior minister describes the security situation in his country as dangerous and critical. As of now, at least 72 people have been killed in Israeli strikes. Japan's ruling party picked former Defense Minister Shigeru Ishiba as leader. 
setting him up to become prime minister next week. He will succeed Fumio Kishida to become the next prime minister of Japan. The party leadership win is a ticket to the top job because the Liberal Democratic Party's ruling coalition currently controls the parliament. Pope Francis calls for Europe to be a beacon of peace amid war. He says ideology is always the enemy of democracy. He also praises the country for its tradition of opening its doors to foreigners and says it was a model for Europe. And Pope Francis travels to the heart of Europe to appeal for peace and to boost his dwindling flock. Thousands line up on streets as Francis takes tour in Europe's Luxembourg. The mayor of a central Wisconsin city who ran for office on his opposition to absentee ballot drop boxes has said he did nothing wrong when he put on work gloves, donned a hard hat and used a dolly to cart away a drop box outside City Hall. China holds a solemn protest with Japan over its vessels pass passage through the Taiwan Strait. The Taiwan issue concerns on China's sovereignty and territorial integrity as well as the political foundation of China-Japan relations. Climate change is damaging communities in western and northern Alaska as storms increase and warming temperatures cause permafrost to melt, making the ground supporting homes and businesses unstable. Hurricane Helen made land fall in northwestern Florida as a Category 4 storm as forecasters warned of catastrophic flooding along the Gulf Coast. Hurricane warnings and flash flood warnings extended far beyond the coast up into North Georgia and western North Carolina. Moscow City Court rejected the appeal of a U.S. citizen against his arrest for two months pending a probe on charges of attacking a police officer. Russian state news agencies said that the American became abusive after being asked to show his documents at an upscale hotel last month. Kosovo Minister of Justice together with her counterpart from Denmark, Peter Hamilgaard, visited a detention center in Jilan. Danish Prime Minister Peter Hamilgaard spoke after the meeting, saying the two countries had a fruitful cooperation. And now shifting our focus to the world of sports, Team India skipper Rohit Sharma won the toss and created history by opting to bowl first against Bangladesh in the Kanpur test today. This marked the first time in 60 years that a team won the toss and opted to bowl first in Kanpur. Meanwhile, English pacer Josh Hull has been ruled out of the three Lions upcoming test series against Pakistan due to a quad injury. According to the country's cricket board, the 20-year-old left armour sustained the injury during his test debut against Sri Lanka earlier this month. Defending champions Kolkata Knight Riders have announced former West Indies all-rounder Dwayne Bravo as their mentor for the upcoming IPL season. The legendary fast bowler will be replacing Gautam Gambhir as KKR's mentor after he left the role to become the head coach of Team India.